Everyone loves ChatGPT because of its abilities to answer any question that is asked. But when it comes to answer question, which requires real-time data, it fails miserably. For example, if I ask, what is the weather in Tokyo? We can see ChatGPT doesn't know the answer for this question. These models are not trained on real-time data. Here you can see GPT 3.5 was trained on data till January 2022. It means it doesn't know about events from 2022 and 2023. That's sad. What if we want to know information in real time? How do we get this information? Well, for that, OpenAI launched something called Functions. We can connect GPT models with real world through APIs. In this video, we will implement function, which will retrieve information from third-party services. Then this real-time data will be sent back to GPT for analysis. Stay tuned till the end of video to see working demo. OpenAI supports lots of tools like code interpreter, functions, retrieval, etc. And every tool can be defined in JSON format. Here we will define tools array. And for this demo, we will have only tool of type function. To define function in JSON format, we need three properties, name of the function, description, and finally parameters. Name of function will be get current weather. We will add description here. Parameter will of type object, and it will have only property, location. So this function takes location as an input and return weather information for that location as an output. Now, we need to define function, which takes location as input and stringified JSON as an output. We will be integrating WeatherStack API for this purpose. This API takes location as an input and returns current weather as an output in JSON format. Now, we will integrate this function with GPT 3.5. In our app.py, we will initialize OpenAI client. We will define run conversation function, which reads question from command line. Then this question will be added with user role and pass to the OpenAI chat completion API. If you notice, with question we have mentioned our tools array here. This tools contains a function that we defined previously. Response from chat completion API contains signal whether GPT is trying to call function that we have defined. Based on input question, GPT will figure out whether user is asking for real-time information or not. Here, from response, we will retrieve message and then retrieve tool calls. Tools call is an array returned from GPT. This contains list of tools required to answer user's question. Every tool from list will contain all the information required to execute tool and retrieve information. For our function kind of tool, GPT will retrieve information from given question. For example, values for function parameter. Notice that our function needs location parameter. GPT will retrieve city name from question and fill parameters inside tools. Here you can see we have tool executor, which is generic implementation for executing function. We will retrieve function name and arguments from tool. We will call function and retrieve results from function and create one message. Now, tools messages will contain all the responses from weather API calls. Now, we will append all the messages from tools to the messages array. Now, finally, we will give all the messages again to GPT, which includes question from user and real-time data from tools. Based on these messages, GPT will figure out correct answer and present to the user. Now. Finally, we will print weather information on console. Let's run our app.py file. We will give question on command line and execute script. We can see final answer given by GPT here. We have been presented with weather information that we requested in question. Notice the logs. We can see response from our function has got filled as a messages in tools messages array. Here we can see values for our function arguments. Let's ask for one more task. For example, asking for choosing a number. Here, we are not requesting weather information. In this case, GPT should not call our function. And we can see it has chosen a number, and also tools messages array is empty. It means GPT did not call our function. That's all about OpenAI functions for today.
For this kind of technical topics, please give thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.